Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also, leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert uh, the uh, JUnit 4 exceptions, uh, all of these three ways that in JUnit 4 are quite common to uh, check for exceptions in uh, JUnit tests to the new JUnit 5 consolidated unified way to test exceptions. So the reason why you're seeing this JUnit 4 exception test in error is because I've already converted this JUnit 4 uh, IntelliJ project to use the Jupyter API and that's why uh, you're seeing that this is uh, in error. So. What we're going to do in this um, very short uh, video tutorial is basically to convert these three uh, ways into the single consolidated way to test exceptions in JUnit 5. So essentially, you know, all of these three ways to test exceptions. Uh, so let's just put here, this is basically JUnit uh, 4 way to test. And, you know, in the previous lesson, I covered that. In JUnit 5, um, basically, you know, everything is just tested with, there is only one way, which is a third throws, right? And this basically takes uh, an exception a class. And there is here a, um, you know, a lambda, basically is the supplier of the method that you're testing. And then uh, this guy here gives you back an exception. And, and that's pretty much it. And then you use this exception on an assertion, for example, assert uh, equals, and then you use this guy. You can get the message and you can do whatever you want with it. Typically you want to assert that, you know, error message here that this exception throws, you know, basically matches something here, right? So that's pretty much the idiom, uh, unified single way of testing exceptions in unit five. This method here, if you recall, we are basically calling a method here, which doesn't throw an exception and then one that throws. And then what I was highlighting here is that there is no way in this way uh, of JUnit 4 to basically get the exception message back. So anyway, this is not the way to do it anymore. So anyway, what you need to do is you just do a cert uh, throws, uh, you put the exception that you're expecting. So I'm expecting an array index out of bounds exception. And I will uh, basically here uh, put my uh, supplier, uh, which is, yeah. So my method supplier here will be uh, basically this too. Let me import this. And uh, now I can um, get the exception back. So this is basically my exception. And then, um, I mean, I don't really need the entire, um, you know, the, that specific exception type. So now that we have the exception, um, we can just write a um, our assertion uh, like we usually do. So we're going to assert that this uh, the actual message uh, contains the string. Uh, so basically, the um, the exception type here. And that's it. So that's pretty much how in uh, JUnit 5 you test for exceptions. So all of these ways that were competing ways of testing exceptions in JUnit 4 have been consolidated into a single way of testing exceptions. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.